Well, I'm doing something today that I don't know if I've... I don't know if you've seen me do this yet. But we're doing some scumbling. And scumbling over only paint that's been thinned off with turpentine. Um, because there's not much texture on there. And I thought I'd like to have maybe a... Maybe a uh, a toned down soft-ish sky in the background with maybe less design than I was at first worrying about or thinking about. I think this bit of cloud's gonna go, but I'm not gonna worry about from here on down and likewise on this side down. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's just get this painted, this top area. Uh, I've started out with a bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of uh, Touch of alizarin crimson, just in here. The paint, I'm not loading my brush with very much at all. Very little, very little. And then I went a little towards a little more alizarin crimson, and and very soon after that, I've gone into uh, shying away from the yellow ochre, greater proportion of alizarin crimson, and beginning to add just touches of ultramarine blue. And very quickly here, I'm going to be doing away with any yellow ochre at all. And I'm just going to be going with alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue. And we're going to end up being a little more purplish. Probably going to have to throw in a little bit of white here as well. Yeah. We have this sort of orangish here, and from about here this way, we're going to go more into the purples. As we move off to the right, we're going to go to much closer to just straight ultramarine blue. Careful not to lay blobs or ridges. It's be very soft. Our sky will take on more strength down in here, and you know, with with certain clearly indicated clouds. And now, I want to make sure that I'm mixing my colors thoroughly enough so that I don't end up with mini streaks here and there. I like a fairly even looking colors and fairly ethereal looking textures. I've really dropped my canvas down low. My eye level right now is almost at the top of the canvas because I want to look down at it because I don't want glare from the light above to, uh, to restrict my vision. That's probably 
probably not too bad. Might be a little too orange here still. It's okay. The beauty of this, the beauty of this technique is that I can always, if something bothers me later, I can very gently go in later and paint right over top of it. Not a problem. Okay, we're getting to the we're getting to the point where we have very little. left in here. Just mixing that ultramarine blue with some with some alizarin crimson. A little bit of white. A little titanium white there. Take some of this color and put the odd dab elsewhere just to break things up a little bit. I'd like a little bit, even though it's smooth and ethereal, I still kind of like a little bit of, a little bit of texture to show there. Well, you know, texture, variation. Gradual, but not that gradual. I don't want it to look like it was sprayed on there. Slowly getting bluer. Don't want to drop my value too much. Crimson mixing with my ultramarine blue. Add a bit of white. Okay, just a few little strokes of color here and there. Some of this here, some of this here. I think I want to go, no, that's a little, that's dropping the value quite a bit, and I'm still going, it's still fairly purple. 
I don't want to have too much color in the sky that approximates this color. So far we're okay. I've been using cobalt blue on here if I remember correctly to make my purple. I'm using ultramarine up here. You know what I'm going to do? I have to uh, lean my head over this way, where my hand is, to look back at the canvas to minimize glare. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'll trade you guys places. I'm going to put my chair closer to where the tripod is. Was. And... How does that look? closer to where my chair was. Okay, I can see a little better now. Yeah, I'd love to give you a square round view for the whole thing, but that's just not a possibility. If I do that, I can't see. If I can't see, the painting fails. And that is where my priorities are. Now, before we end up getting too high a chroma ultramarine blue, I'm going to throw in just a tint. A tint and a hint of burnt sienna. I'm getting darker towards our edge, that's a good thing, but. dark blue to be a deep, 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 strong blue, you know, right on the order, on the upper corner of the canvas. It's just a bad idea. <coughs> okay. So I had thought, as I mentioned, I think yesterday, of, uh, laying in some clouds coming up here, opposing this. And you know, given this is a triangle, and we have a triangle here, there were a lot of possibilities that would result in failure as clouds lining up to roof lines, you know, if I wanted to sort of achieve this this look. And I decided just to do it with my with my tones, you know, my, my, my colors and my values back here, rather than just adding the clouds. I think I'm going to minimize the importance of these ones. As I said, I think this one's going to completely leave us. But uh, I'm not sure yet. We will see. But seeing as we have seeing as we have um, dark and quite a bit of dark and you know, lower values and, and quite a bit of strength going down here, I thought I would take dark and lower values heading up in that direction. Just with the feel of the distant sky. And I think that's I think that's going to be just fine. You know, you don't want this side and this side to be equal anyway. That's uh, that's amateur hour.
hope that uh, my thinking here is going to pan out. I believe it will, but this is one of those cases where I'm not, I'm really not that sure. I won't be that sure until I have more of the sky painted in, as in these clouds, you know, then I can stand back and have a better look at things and take it from there. Okay, that's probably a little bit on, on the light side. No, the dark side, sorry. Stand up. I'm gonna stand up for a minute because I'm not. Still not seeing as clearly as I'd like to. I'm gonna go back to adding a little bit of Vulcanine blue in there. Or no, Blizzard Crimson. So far, so good. Um, yeah, the hint of lizard crimson, a little bit of white. Whoops. I'm a little carried away with those two. Still too carried away. All right, I know this looks fairly orange, but believe me, that's through the camera. In real time, there's no comparison. This does not compete in any strong way against this, so it's not an issue. Um, okay, I'll start playing. I'll start deciding what to do in other areas here in a minute. But for the moment, we'll just give you the... Give you the better shot again here. Roughly square to the roughly square to the canvas. You can see I've been playing in the rocks again. 
They're, uh, I think they're mostly done. You know, except for, uh, yeah, maybe a few, a few bits here and there. You know, our, our major remaining challenge is to take care of this triangle of sky and this little triangle of sky. I could carry this notion right through down to the horizon. I don't like that idea. I'd like to have some interest up here. Anyway, that's it for the minute. Talk to you soon.